is July 30th. Today's the day where we're going to go up Mont Elbert. We are at the trailhead, Twin Lakes Trailhead for the South Trail, Mount Elbert. And I'm with Dan and my son Josiah. So this has been a three three month journey on getting in shape and trying to accomplish some kind of goal like this. And I've been talking a little bit about pursuing physical excellence and trying to get in shape and really pushing yourself to accomplish some kind of a goal. And so for me, this trip, Mount Elbert, is quite the challenge because it's, it's a five mile uphill and it gains 3,900 feet elevation. So it's gonna be quite the challenge, but I've been riding mountain biking every other day and doing everything that I can to get in shape. But the mindset is what I've been working on the most. Because this has been a little bit of a challenge for me because I'm with my son who's 22 and he doesn't work out at all, but he can not have to worry about getting in shape. He can just go do it, right? Then I'm with Dan, who's also 45, and he's in great shape. He's an excellent mountain biker. And so he's been working out a little bit, but he's not too worried about either. Myself, I'm 59. So this is a little bit more of a challenge for me because I have to work out a little bit more to stay in shape. And this is something that as we pursue physical excellence, some people find it easy to get in shape and some people find it really hard to work at it. And uh, yeah, it's hard. It's a mental challenge to stay at it and stay at it. And then you go riding with someone who's 30 years younger than you and they go better than you and they don't even work out. So it can be a real mind game. So this would be a good, good stretch today to go up. Mount Elbert. Hike a bike. All right, 12.44, I'm just pushing record. I have nothing to say, we just made it to the top of Mount Albert. There's the top right over there. There's a bunch of people over there, so, but we're fine. Look at this view up here, look at that, awesome. Quite the hike, we made it with our bikes. The last 2,000 feet had to carry them. Yeah, it was brutal, there's no doubt about that. No doubt about that, but we made it, so. Just wanted to share this view with y'all. Look at that. So here's my thoughts. Training. I trained hard for this climb. Hard in my opinion. I rode a couple times a week trying to just push myself and it was brutal. It was quite, the, it looks like uh, six and a half miles, 5,000 feet elevation gain or something like that. I don't know. Well, we'll see. 
anyway, it was good, and I'm, I'm thankful that I did train. But just look at the scenery behind me. What an awesome day, huh? 6.5 miles, that's what I meant to say. 4,100 feet elevation gain. But look at this view. Pretty awesome. So what's my point? My point is training, pursuing physical, physical excellence. I've been working hard, guys. I've been working hard at training, and I'm very thankful because I didn't puke. Oh, sorry, did I say that? I shouldn't have said that. I didn't throw up, I didn't get dizzy. I just was breathing hard, and it was sweating um, hard. But, I, you know, I, I made it, and I'm very grateful. So that's it, we'll talk later. This is just live. So, initial reactions while you're still catching your breath and getting rid of being dizzy. Just your first, first thoughts, like we're crazy, we're stupid, why did we do this? What's on your mind? This is Mark. We're, we're crazy and it's your fault. No yeah, you. this is Mark's goal. So I'm glad we accomplished it with him. <laughs> and uh, it was by far one of the Probably. hardest things I've done. <laughs> yeah. So I didn't bring my bike, a little sad. But I'm okay right. that I made it without the bike. Yeah, he still did it. Okay, here we go. Getting ready for the downhill. Time to get off the peak. Josiah was, we're getting ready to go, taking some pictures, and all of a sudden we felt some static electricity, and Josiah said the hair on his arm was standing up. And then uh, we started hearing buzzing sounds, so it's time to go. And we got by our bikes, and our bikes were actually vibrating and buzzing a little bit. So, it's time to get out of here.
Nice. Well, that's it for the video for Mount Elbert. We learned a lot of lessons and I'm glad you could watch the video. Hope you got something out of it. What we learn, train more, bring more water, bring more food and start earlier. Uh, the clouds started coming in around noon and we really had to get off the mountain. It took us four hours to get up and about one hour to get down. So it was a great trip. I recommend anybody that thinks of thinking about doing Mount Elbert to go do it. Just uh, start earlier because it, uh, it was a little bit harder than we thought, but we had a great time. So this is Mark with Freedom Hunters. I'm glad you got to watch the video. Hey, if you liked it, uh, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel. We're going to have a lot more adventures coming up like this and we'll see you on the next one.